Hey y'all! Today I'm going to try and build a house in The Sims 4 using only stuff packs. Okay, I've built a little shell already, just because this usually takes me embarrassingly long. Okay. Downstairs, I don't want to talk about this floor plan. Before you say anything, delete your comment. I don't want to hear it. I can't do floor plans. So you walk in, kitchen, dining room. This is gonna be the living room. And I put like a little like nook over here. I was thinking like a cute little like reading nook or something. And then across the hall, you have a little bathroom. And then upstairs, you have bathroom and two bedrooms. Okay? Okay. But I am at the part of the build where I need to do wallpaper and some exterior things if I can. So these columns are from a stuff pack. They are the only columns from a stuff pack. Should I complete the rest of the house with these, you think? I think I should. I think, why not? We might as well go all out with the Roman looking columns. <laughs> look at how they look upstairs. <laughs> they look so bad upstairs. Can I move these? Oh. No, what? <laughs> I can't go all the way up. Oh, they just did me so dirty on that one. You know what? If it looks funny, it's just because it is. It's part of the challenge. Okay, I think that's all the corners. <laughs> these look, they look crazy. Yep, they sure do, but whatever. It's all part of the fun. What's not fun is that I have to keep clicking all of these. Good Lord, why can't I just click all stuff packs? Now, if there's something I come across that I desperately need and I cannot get from a stuff pack, I might dip into base game, but I'm gonna try my best not to. So here are all of the wallpapers we have for stuff packs. We're really not working with many. For exteriors, the only ones we really have is like this dirty Halloween one. This one, this one, which I love, this like sandy one and this like bricky one. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is the main part of the house is gonna be like this brick. Okay, so I've put that everywhere. And then I really love this stone. It's one of my actual favorites. I use it all the time. But I am just trying to figure out like, where should she go? Where should she thrive? I don't know. Like, should she be an accent or should she be the main character? What if I change this? This sort of have a, has like a more similar tone like to the stone. <laughs> I run. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. <gasps> what do I do with that? Okay, I think this is just gonna be what the house looks like. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to change this. You know what? It's a little crazy looking, but that's fine. Wow, these are the only floorings we have. I love a wood floor, I'm a wood floor girl. We could either have like really fancy or like sort of rustic. This isn't bad. I actually think this looks pretty nice. What is this? Limestone tiles. Yeah, I'm not a tile girl. Not in like the main area of the house. I am a wood girl through and through. In the bathrooms though, for sure. Yeah, I think it looks great in the bathrooms. And then for out here, <laughs> I mean, we don't really have like stone or anything we can use. We could maybe try to make this look like concrete or like a stone. Wait, that could actually work. I mean, technically it is the stone. That looks kind of legit. That looks like a driveway. I don't know. As far as landscaping goes for stuff packs, this is what we got. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Look at how big these are. I mean, gorge, but why are they so big? And you know what? I haven't even looked at windows yet. And honestly, um, I have to admit I'm a little bit afraid. I mean, is that just crazy? That's just crazy. That's crazy talk. You know what? Let me forget about that for a second. These are my only window options. Can we double check? I got them all checked. Well, I do love these windows. I love them, but they're like a bit much. They're all a bit much. I mean, like this too. She's like a lot. What am I supposed to do upstairs? These? Maybe I can make this work. They have white. I mean, they're pretty. Now, I certainly don't know what to do about these curved ones. I don't even know if that's a thing I can work with. I don't know if I want to do black windows. I feel like white is good on this house. I just feel like it looks nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. That looks gorgeous. I'm not that mad. I mean, these windows could be worse. It could be like Realm of Magic. Don't even get me started on that. All these windows are so freaking big, dude. I can't really put one in like the middle of this room because it doesn't really work because I have a wall there. Do I just not put a window there? I mean, that's so sad, but I could do it upstairs. <laughs> it looks so funny. Like, I wish I had something small to put like right here. I like putting like little round windows, just like little, little babies. But, like all oh, are huge. It's just not gonna happen. I just need to give that dream up. It's not happening. It does look really pretty for that room though. So for the rest of these, I mean, I was using the small ones because I thought they just made more sense, but I don't know, maybe I could use big ones. Ooh, I don't know. These are pretty big freaking windows. Maybe do it like that. Oh my gosh, look, if I do that, you can see the stairs. Isn't that funny? What happens if I put railing on those stairs? Does it pop through the window? Oh, nice. Well, I don't really know what to do. I mean, that looks really pretty, but like, is the railing always gonna pop through? Come on, Sims. There's gotta be a way I can just do one side. Our stairs may not have railings. Okay, I think I'm done with the windows. Here's what we're sort of working with right now. What about doors? Not a lot of choices. This one's always nice. I don't have my window boxes that I personally love, but we do have these and I might be able to make them work. 
They do have just green. You know what, it's better than nothing. But look at how far they stick out. I think that's what bothers me. Well, better than nothing, I guess. As far as fences go, this one's like so cute, a little white picket fence. But then I also don't know if that should be like a brown fence. I think brown looks better. I've got a lot of white going on just from my lack of choices, so. Okay, we do have a matching gate. Where's the, that's the matching color? Did they just guess when they made this? I'm about to have a freak out moment. You know what, I'm gonna not freak out. I'm gonna keep my cool. Cool, calm, collected. Cool, calm, collected. As far as the landscaping goes, remember when we looked at this? Remember when I like ran away? Oh good. The one tree we have is the one with the lanterns, which I, I do love, but holy moly, it's a big one. I did not even put in a back door to get to the backyard, so good luck everyone. There you go. There's a tree in the front. Is it too big? I already sized it down once. If I size it down again, it looks like this, which is a little bit silly and I think I don't even want a tree anymore. I talked myself out of it. I'll add some flowers right there. And honestly, I don't know what else. We do have fountains. What if we did a fountain in the entryway? Is that crazy? Should I put the fountain like over here? Man, I don't know. I, I'm honestly giving up on the exterior of this house. I'm not loving it. But back on the inside, we do need, oh, there are no stairs. Well, I was gonna change these to match the floor, use whatever we had as an option, but I guess we don't have much. So there you go. Back to wallpaper. Now this is one of my absolute favorite wallpapers. I mean, look at that. It is stunning. Stunning. I will be reusing that one, 100%. We could maybe use this one in the kitchen. I don't know what color I'm feeling. I think I'm feeling that one, a little green. And honestly, those are the only two wallpapers out of this selection that I like. So we're just gonna have to get creative with the other ones. Oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, that's not bad. If you use the white, it doesn't look too bad. I was kind of hoping I could tie it into the kitchen a little bit. Wait, I like the blue. I like the blue a lot. Whoa, look at the blue, I like the blue. Yeah, the white is good. Maybe I just do white in there. I know it's a bit boring, but we do also have this one, which is a bunch of bats. I definitely don't dislike it. It's just not something I would like normally use. The colors though are really Halloween. This is kind of the only one that doesn't stress me out. So let's just do that one. And then for the bathroom, ooh, I don't know. Maybe that? Yeah, I think so. Oh no! My window! Dang it, dude, I didn't even think about that. Maybe I just delete both of them. I know that looks really pathetic, but I don't know what else to do. Let's bring this same wallpaper upstairs and then genuinely, my God, that makes me want to change this. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. I can't. Oh, the red is giving for the, for the living room. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I'm not really a red girl. This is like a burgundy almost. Forgive me, I will be reusing this wallpaper in every room. We can do pink in there, whatever. Okay, so that's all the wallpaper complete. Let's furnish this bad boy. Not bad on the rug selection, actually. I think most of these are pretty good. I was gonna make one like a little entryway rug, but they're a bit big, so maybe I won't. Forget it, no rug. What about plants? I have noticed none of my favorite plants are in here, which is a huge bummer, but we can make this work. We definitely need a little table right here, and ooh, we've got a lot of good choices. Okay, maybe not like a lot of good choices, but I think like some of these are nice. I think there should be a lamp. I think that there should be maybe some decor. Well, we certainly have some very interesting options, don't we? We can do the polar bear book stand. Paintings. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. Luckily, with most of these paintings, they have lots of different swatches. So it's almost like we'll have different paintings, even though we won't really. What else should I put in this hallway? What do we have for activities? Our nor. I was gonna put a chess table. It's not an option. What about a slip and slide? <laughs> well, that'll work. Dang it, dude. Now I don't know. A hamster? It beats me. I said I was gonna do a reading nook over there, but maybe we can put some bookshelves here. That does look nice. Let's do the kitchen. We've got some good kitchen stuff now, which makes me very, very excited. Look at this, stunning. Now, I didn't really think about how I was gonna lay this kitchen out, because we've got like a lot of room, but I'm thinking maybe I can just do like an island. I don't know, should I have maybe done it like this instead? That's probably way better. Now, typically I would put this over here, because it's like right in the center, but... I really wanna use this vent hood and I can't really do that with the window there. Plus I love a sink in front of a window, it's my fave. Cause I thought if we could put some cabinets, like we could literally disguise that in there. And how good does that look? And it literally makes a little light and everything. Oh, so do these, wow. We also do have a bunch of appliances. Like we have a stand mixer. Hello? Who asked? 
We've got like a pizza oven. Look at all these cute things, a waffle maker. What kind of curtains do we have? I guess I could do that. It's a bit sad though, but it does add a little something. So I'll keep it. I'm gonna put this little food scale over here by the stand mixer. It's like their mid baking little cookbook over here. The spices, whoa, this knife block is so cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot about a trash can for a second. This is the only one that we have. That's kind of cute actually. And I can actually put it over here. So it's not in the way. For some reason, this will not snap up here. So I will be cheating. I think that is the kitchen complete. Now moving on to the dining room. I love this glass one, but I think it's too long. Maybe, I think it is. All these tables are quite long, except for this one and this one. And obviously these little ones. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna try to make this one work. I just love it so much. Maybe if I just don't put that many chairs on it. It does look a little funny though, doesn't it? There's like so much room. Uh, I don't like it. Like this table looks so like, Womp womp. Like, I don't know, it just looks so sad. Okay, what about that one? That one's a little more fun. Oh my gosh, there's matching chairs. I might just go boring on the chairs. God, it's so boring. These are a little less boring, just a little bit. This looks crazy. <gasps> Wait, no, actually the pink looks good. The pink looks good. Oh, there we go, saved. Okay, as far as curtains go, again, our options are not looking so good. Also, these are so short. What is that doing for anyone? This is also not big enough. I guess I could do that again. Can put some pictures up. There isn't a whole lot of room in here to do other stuff, but maybe if I just put down a rug, we'll be good to go. Okay, pretty. Let's move on to like something small here, like the bathroom. Thankfully we have toilets, that's a win. We don't have any bath and shower combos, so we have to do them separately or just do one of them. And we technically do have room for that. No, we don't because there isn't a normal tub in here, only hot tubs and this big corner one, which does technically fit, but then like there's no room for anything else. So maybe not that one. And we do have the option to do one of these or because we have these fabulous cabinets, we could put two of these down. We could put a sink. Ooh, I didn't even look at the mirror situation. It's not looking good. I guess that will have to do. And then like bathroom items, uh, we could put this maybe on top of here. I always think that looks pretty. What can go on the counter? Nothing for bathrooms? Am I just missing it? Oh, there's this. Yeah, that's about it. I don't even see any towels besides like a couple of these. Woo, not looking good. Uh, you know what, how about some magazines? And then on the other side, if I can fit a plant there, I totally will. I mean, there is this one. It's just like, can you sit on the toilet with this thing there? And like all these, why are they all so big? I mean, even that is a bit large. Okay, wait, wait, this could work. And then maybe just like a painting. Man, it is rough. It is rough for bathrooms. This is just like a hallway. So I wanted to put a desk down, but I don't know if I wanted to do it here or here. I'm thinking here is gonna be the better choice. We don't have any computers. That's awesome. I don't know what I expected. Is there anything I can use that like looks like a computer? Well, I put some photography stuff down, a little rug. Maybe this fun poster can go here. I don't know. Ooh, what about this tapestry? They're so pretty. I honestly, I don't know if I should scoot the desk over because I kind of want like a lamp. I think it looks nice. Now for the living room, I'm gonna do just the same like shutters, blinds trick or whatever. I don't love it, but I, it's okay. Okay, so I was gonna do like a reading nook over here. Maybe I should scoot this over a bit. There we go. I'll size this plant down. I'll put some more books on there. Maybe a candle right there. Some little like plants down there. <laughs> Just have something. And then we need a cute lounge chair. Oh, we have some good options. I love this one. That's perfection. We could even maybe put down like a small end table. Oh my gosh, I just realized I could put like craft stuff on this desk. Duh. Yeah, and I might put a crystal ball right there. What do we have for couches? Is it possible to get a fireplace? Yes. Are there TVs? So we have like tiny living or the complete and other opposite of that, amphitheater. Listen, that does fit perfectly. I mean, it does sort of block the entrance a little bit. Let's scoot that over for a second. Let me scoot that back a smidge. Look how small the couch looks in comparison. That looks so sad. I think these are actually a matching set. So I could put a matching one here and just like change the color. We could do like a blue. I don't know if it's too matchy matchy though. Yeah, you know what, it's fine. You know what, this is going very well, I think. That is looking so cute. Need something to fill in this corner. And that definitely does the trick. I say we just put like this shelf over here and call it a day. Cause like that looks pretty good. I mean, this is a sick living room, look at this TV. All right, let's go upstairs, go ahead and put those in there. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put these everywhere. I wish I could really do like, 
Well, maybe up here I can do curtains. It still looks a little bit funny because they're not like connecting in the middle. I don't really even know what I've done here now. Wait, but that looks kind of sick. Hold on, wait. I popped off a little bit. If I scooch them close enough together, I get like a custom looking thing. My genius is showing. Okay, wait, this one, this might be excessive. Doing this like whole hallway. No, it's not. Actually, I love it. Do I want this color? Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I might change the colors in the other rooms too. I can't really fit anything in this hallway. It's just a little bit too thin. So I will just be putting things on the walls. What if I put these jerseys? I don't know. I don't know what they're all about. Okay, so for the pink room, we really only have four beds to work with and actually technically only two if we want double beds. Unless we want a Murphy bed, which I kind of don't. Maybe we could do something like this. It's very glam, isn't it? Staying on things with the glam. We've got the golden tables. Here's some lamps. Ooh, okay, a rug might be tricky in here. I may have to move the bed lady over here. Unless I put it up against the windows, which I'm not a huge fan of doing, but I might. I might for this room, just because of the way the rug placement's gonna be. More neutral on the rug. We've got a lot of colors and patterns happening in here right now. If I wanna stay glam, I mean, I could match with this or this. I just feel like this is the perfect place for this plant. I don't Oh, right by the bed though. Maybe we should <laughs> switch these up. What if a leaf fell on your head when you were asleep? Vanity would have been so good, but we do not have room for that. So we can put a mirror. These paintings are literally perfect for this room. And again, we don't really have a lot of clutter for bedrooms. So I'm just gonna try to make something up. Here we go, just a little something. And then on this side, what the heck am I gonna do over here? Dare I use this chair one more time? It's a good chair. So I can put some like knitting stuff next to it. I think that's so cute. Perfect paintings, okay. A bit random, but that'll work. All right, so for this room, this one may have to go up against the windows too. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to get it to work, but you'll kind of walk into the bed. And these beds are really something. I know those blues don't match, but I think I'm just gonna have to go with it. Okay, I've got some lanterns, something different. Finding rugs to match these rooms is proving to be rather difficult. Mm, maybe not perfect, but I think I'm gonna go with it. What if I did this in here? This is cool. More knitting? There aren't really many hobbies in here. Like there's Halloween candy, photography, and hamsters. Okay, we'll put the blue version of these in here. Put this above the bed. Actually, I'll size it down. There we go, that looks nice. I did want to put a mirror in here. What if I did this fun, expressive mirror that's like, whoa. Let's move on. Let's do the final room, which is the bathroom. And hopefully this is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I wonder if I can find a way to use this. My plan is coming to fruition. It's working. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. Double sink. I should probably change this to white. Did I leave that one downstairs silver? Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. That looks more like a bathroom. I might do the same thing I did with the mirrors and just like do one of these. It's kind of cool that you can change the colors up a bit though, but I don't know if I like it. I think I just prefer that. There's not even like a hand towel thing. I'm ex again, except for this, which isn't like my favorite thing, but I mean, whatever works, I guess. We had this item. Are you kidding me? I love that item. How did I not know? I'm trying to put a plant here but I like genuinely can't find one that I want to use besides this one. And we literally use that one right outside the door. <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't double down on it. Maybe if I could size this one down. I feel like that, ugh, it does sort of poke through the wall a bit. Maybe if I move it out. And then maybe I just shouldn't have the broom. You know, I do have sconces. Is it crazy to put two sconces in here for like literally no reason? I'm gonna do it. I mean, whatever, I've got nothing else. You know what? I'm gonna squeeze one in right here, just for fun. And now I'm done. Oh, wait, 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 no, I'm not done, I'm not done. Let me put base game back so I can build walls. We need a wall here, because I couldn't put railing because it was being stupid. So there we go. That is so much better. Now I actually have a place to put like more stuff. I can put a whole bench, you know, and maybe I will. Because how freaking cute is that? And then a painting. Okay, now I am done, completely. Ta-da, my stuff pack house. Actually, let's not look at the outside too much, okay? There's not much going on out here. But let's see, you walk through the door. Be careful going up those stairs. There's no railing, so careful with that. In the living room, you have the freaking IMAX theater, which is awesome. There's pasta in the living room. I didn't realize it was on those shelves. I'm not changing it, that's so funny. Little like reading space. This is like a little desk area. The bathroom, which is just very monochrome, but I don't have a lot of choices. The hallway. Here is the cute little dining room. The kitchen, which is so good. We have so many good like kitchen packs, which is nice. Then if you come up the stairs, doo -doo 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 -doo, I just added this bench, our beautiful windows. In here, a bathroom. I like this bathroom. I would go crazy for this bathroom. And if you keep going down, boom, bedroom number one. This one is a little bit crazy, but it's fine. I just realized I should have put TVs or something in the bedrooms. Oh well, and then this room, which I actually quite like. I think this room is really cute, but it's definitely more my style 
Maybe not this bed though. Not bad for like just using stuff packs. I really didn't have to cheat anything except for like obvious things like, you know, like a roof tile or the walls or something, but that's not really cheating. That's just basics. That came out really nice actually. Like I'm so shocked. I feel like building with game packs is 10 times harder than stuff packs. And I really feel like it should be the opposite. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.